Hello everyone and thank you for your interest in the National Coffee Association's new and interactive online platform for the National Coffee Drinking Trends. We are thrilled to show you the many exciting features that will enhance the NCDT's value and overall effectiveness as an industry resource. Let's get started. Once you enter your username and password, you will be presented with the Interface homepage. The homepage will allow you to access a number of useful modules. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will focus primarily on the dashboard module, but I will talk briefly about the infographic, PDF report, and flipbook. The infographic module will present you with a visual image that represents U.S. coffee consumption data from the 2015 NCDT. The infographic can be customized by using gender, region, age, income, and ethnicity filters. This is a very useful module to portray the NCDT's data in a visually accessible way. The PDF report allows you to access and download the electronic version of the NCDT 2015. If you prefer the look of a printed version of the NCDT, you may appreciate the flipbook. The flipbook merges the digital version of the NCDT 2015 with the feel of flipping pages. Finally, we come to the dashboard module. The dashboard is broken down into sections similar to those in the NCDT report. It is on this screen that you will select the section that you desire to research. We will select the first section, Beverages Consumed in an Average Day, and demonstrate a few scenarios using the filters at our disposal. The first screen displays the total sample for past day penetration of beverages for 2013, 2014, and 2015. There are a few things to notice on this screen. The filters are prominently presented on the top of the page. There is a larger window that displays bar graphs for the past three years according to beverage type, and the question at the bottom as it is presented in the NCDT. Let's say we needed to find what the African American population in the Northeast drank yesterday. First, we would select Northeast under region, then African American under ethnicity, and finally hitting update. You will notice that the bar graphs change to reflect the parameters we set in the filters. What if you needed to find data for the African American millennial population throughout the US? We can easily change the region to no selection, select 18 to 24 under the age dropdown, and hit update. The bar graphs will correct themselves to reflect the filters applied. And now that we have our answer, we may want to add it to a PowerPoint presentation or include it into an Excel file. The Export button in the upper right hand corner will allow you to export the data shown into a PowerPoint or Excel chart. This function is a convenient way to use the information for your own research purposes. Let's now try another scenario in a different dashboard section. The platform is designed to seamlessly transition between sections so that you won't spend time going back to the home page to select another section. All you have to do is locate the TAN menu bar at the top of the page. These menu items will come in handy when navigating the online interface. To locate another dashboard section, hover your cursor over the dashboard menu item and watch as the selections unravel into a neat submenu. For this next example, we will be using coffee drinking in an average day. The graphs in this section represent the past day penetration of coffee by type. The data we'll be trying to find is what did males that earn under $100,000 drink past day? First we select male, under the gender drop down, and then we select all the income brackets up to $100,000. 
and now we select update. Watch as the graphs recalculate the data. Maybe we should give the system a little bit more of a challenge by adding a few more filters. Let's include the West region of the US and Hispanics under ethnicity who are under the age of 60. We can now leave the previous filters of gender and income alone and just add the additional filters. You have now filtered your data by five different variables to achieve a specific result. As you just witnessed, the NCA's brand new interactive online platform for the NCDT is simple to use, yet powerful. We hope that you find the platform to be a valuable addition to your market research resources. Lastly, this is the first release of the NCDT online access tool, and we welcome suggestions, observations, and any observed bugs that users may encounter to help us determine our next steps with respect to this tool. Please share your feedback by emailing us info at ncausa.org. On behalf of the National Coffee Association, I would like to thank you again for your interest in the NCDT's interactive online platform. Thank you.